Stealthy Crafter. So today I have a whip and chat for you guys. Um, if you don't know what whip stands for, it stands for work in progress. Um, so you can bring out your own whips or if you want, just listen along while we are, while I'm chatting, while you do chores or whatever it is that you guys want to do. Um, so let's get started, shall we? So I hope you guys are doing okay today. I'm working on Aquarius. And yep, yeah, that means that I finally finished Angie and Oliver just before the end of March. Um, so, yay! Clap hands. <laughs> um, but anyway, in all seriousness, um, I think I've kind of overdone it on my hand and my whole body this whole weekend. And uh, we'll get into to some of this more specifics into that later. But... Um, I wanted to show off some, some stuff that i gotten, um, which is, uh, right now, uh, these new Bell Art de Nicole trays, uh, that I've gotten. I don't know if I, if I showed them in my last whip and chat or not, but, uh, here we go. Because what I did was get the Max tray, and then I also got this, and it, I just noticed these match so well with this canvas right now. And I thought this was so neat. Um, I still prefer the older style, but, um, but these are cute too. I like how they, how she branded the lids and everything. And it has a nice little stopper and a spout. So people who like spouts, here you go. <laughs> but yeah, I'm working on Aquarius and, um, I love, I love it. I, you know, it's my, it's, I was, I'm an Aquarius. So even though I don't follow zodiacs and astrology and all this stuff, stuff, I do, um, get drawn to a lot of Aquarius stuff because it's so cute and everything like that. Um, but I'm trying to get these last three sections done uh, at least before March for the Emerald along um, from Emeralds and Fairy Lights because she did say it was like, I think it was like a 30 by 40 section. So I measured it and I made sure that this was exactly 30 by 40, if not a little bit over. And I'm like, okay, I can do this. And then I kind of worked on in, uh, Angie and Oliver. And then it's like, okay, I got to get back to this. But I am whittling my, um, my projects down. So I'm down to two projects, which is this and uh, Moon Elf, which I did promise I won't be working on that on camera anymore because of how long that was taken um I haven't worked on her for since I've said that um just because I've been trying to get things done but I figured once I can get these sections done I'm gonna go back and finish that and that way I'm down to one project at least um at least until I kid up something else um the reason being is my my son he was so sad um, about the fact that his sisters um, have a diamond painting in their room. Well, his oldest is about to. I, I just bought the frame and stuff. It's supposed to be coming in today. I'm not sure. So that means I can at least start um, putting the trim and stuff around it. So I bought this sparkly duct tape um, to go around the border for, for the... Um, uh, for the canvas because I don't really feel comfortable cutting the canvas at all but um, so I ordered a frame that was just slightly bigger um, than, than, what, than what the uh, size of the canvas was and what I'm going to do is put this around the side so that way you see this all this lovely sparkly uh, duct tape but it's I'm going to try and make it look um, look a little nicer so that way it's not going to be noticeable as duct tape but I'm going to put that on on her canvas and then Try and frame it and have it nice and centered. So I'm gonna you, cross your fingers for me, guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, but my son, he was really, really sad about the fact that I did not have anything for his room. And I told him what I was planning on doing and he's really excited. So I have a Randall Spangler. I have a lot of Randall Spanglers, to be honest. I, I need to do some unboxings with them. Um, especially the newest one I got. That, that one's huge. But anyway, I have a Randall Spangler that's, um, I, I think I've unboxed it on this channel already, um, called the Universe in a, in a Jar. And I've been planning on doing it. I was going to in November, but I had way too much other stuff to try and finish up too. So that did not work out. Um, 
but I'm gonna try and work on it. But at the same time, it's another square. And I've worked, this is, uh, let's see. I've worked on two, finished two squares. This is gonna be my third square that I'm finishing. And then of course, Moon Elf's round. And I'm like, do I really, really wanna work on another square? My hands are kinda sore. Um, so here's what's happened. I've pushed myself way too hard this weekend with um with diamond painting um i i uh i wanted to get angie and oliver done so i stayed up late um and finished that on well i didn't i stayed up late a few nights and then saturday uh i spent most of saturday just working on on angie and oliver and i did not finish until till that evening and um, and then immediately started working on Aquarius right after. Um, and I got in a section and a half done that night. And then yesterday I got in another section and then a half done. So I have three sections completed. And I don't know if I can keep the momentum up because, um, like, I'm, I'm really feeling it. My, my hands are hurting, so I'm slowing down a little bit. I'm trying to take it easy. I'm like, if you can just do a section a day instead of trying to do a section and a half maybe you might meet beat the deadline um but i have other obligations and everything so if you don't see me diamond painting quite as much today it's just that's why my hands my hands are really sore so i'm just taking it a little bit easier especially during diamond painting um during this diamond painting because um since it squares i kind of i kind of like to think have things straight and i get a little bit <laughs> I, I get a little bit stressed when it's not too too straight or as straight as I want it to be. Um, but let's see, next color. And I hope I don't knock this into the um, into my tripod. But I'm using um, Elizabeth Ward trade sounds. I've been using them off camera for the last month, um, and I really like them. They're bad for my nails though so i've taken i got i got um i got a little bit um of a brainstorming idea i'm like oh so this is for my sewing machine it's to to um help change out the needles and and uh you know get into the whole inner workings of the machine and everything i just use it to <laughs> pop open the, the lid instead um and i keep it on on the, the side here for me because i don't want to I don't want to lose it because I need it for my sewing machine, but it's always around this area. So at least I don't, I don't think I'm going to lose it. Uh, cross your fingers. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. But yeah, this, this week has been, it's, it's been good. Um, I'm apologizing for all the background noise. Um, I, because I've been in such, I'm been, I'm feeling so sore and achy. Um, I've decided to stay in the office with my, um, where my husband works. Um, I normally work in here anyway, but I, I've switched it to where I work in the dining room whenever I'm doing these videos. But today I was just like, I can't do it. <laughs> I really can't. And, and he said it was okay for me to work in here. He didn't have many, um, meetings or anything like that. So, so if you hear anything like that, that's, that's why. Um. But yeah okay so let's see I think last I last left you guys off was um, talking about um, let's see I think I told you guys I got in contacts last week and um, it's been it's been a challenge I I, I, uh, I got a little nervous um, Monday night um, last week where I was trying to take my contacts out and I was having such a, a, a trouble, so much trouble doing so. And I'm like, okay, maybe I should practice doing this at the, um, at the office. But I told her, nah, I got it. It's even though it's been 12 years. Yeah, I got it. I can take out, I can take out my own contacts. It's be fine. Yeah. I had to look up a video really quick because <laughs> I, uh, I had so much trouble. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing fine now. I think I accidentally scratched my eye, but it's, it's a lot better now. Um, I'm going to take a sip of my soda. But, um, but yeah, it was just, uh, oh man, um, that was, that was a nervous strike. I was like, I'm never going to get these contacts out. 
I got them out. I, it's fun. And um, I don't use them every single day. Um, my allergies are horrendous. And um, my contacts, um, my eyes get, are getting like really dry and irritable. Um, especially when I'm out and about. And yesterday was the worst, to be honest. But, um, but uh, yeah, I just like, I had to go out and get um, re-wetting drops. So I had to get some drops like this um, to put in my, into my eyes whenever I'm wearing uh, my contacts. Just so that way they're not so irritable. I can't wait for pollen in spring to be over. It'll be soon, but the, um, but the... The allergies portions are going to stay all the way till for, oh my goodness, at least a few months, but whatever, I'll, I'll deal with it. Um, I'll eventually get over it. <laughs> um, but I have noticed that it's gotten worse because um, I'm starting to sound more stuffed, um, stuffed up. I'm having a harder time trying to breathe out of my nose. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. But not all is lost. Sorry. Excuse me. So. I found the most awesome, the super coolest, in my opinion, um, contact case. Okay. I, <laughs> um, so if you guys been spin around, around, I talk about how I watch Sailor Moon with my oldest and how we get, um, how we, uh, we, how we uh, like watching it every now and then. Uh, for every week. I found something that reminded me of Sailor Moon slash Card Captor Sakura. If you guys used to watch those shows back in the day. Yeah, in the, in the back in the 90s. <laughs> um, but look, isn't it so cool? It looks kind of like her um, compact case. And the best part, if I can get it to get, get you guys to see, is like it falls. The stars fall all over and in, inside of it it's so pretty and I love it so much and I'm like really excited to use it um the and the uh, best thing is at the same day when I got this I also got my six months supply for contacts so I'm all set this year <laughs> excuse me and I'm sorry about the table being creaky <laughs> it feels like I'm back in my uh right back in the um where I complain about this table being creaky all the time. I have to tighten the... Uh, I have to tighten the bolts and everything again. Uh, it's it's a never-ending story. It's it's because of me. I, I like to lean over and push this up against the, against the wall. So it just constantly moves back and forth. And um, I loosen it up all the time. It, it's, it's still a good table. It's a decent table. So I, I'm, not, I'm not too mad about it. Um, but yeah. But... Yeah, it's just been a lot of little things happening this week. Uh, let's see. I'll go to let's go with a let's go with bigger color this time around. But oh man, so allergies are kicking my butt like always, and then um, I'm still playing well. I'm still I'm still all into that. So. Um, Still been doing that kind of stuff. And, um, still haven't gotten any tear. Oh, a little baby outside. <laughs> Sorry. I have the window open. It's kind of nice to be able to work in this workspace because I can see everything again out in my front yard compared to my backyard. But sometimes in my backyard, I get, like, random stray cats. I get, like, um, I get the cutest little animals in the backyard. But, um, I'm kind of having to... My husband and I are actually talking about getting a fence for the backyard because we started having middle schoolers um, walk in our yard uh, and, and um, it's kind of weird. <laughs> so what's been going on is uh, there's woods behind my neighbor's house. Both of my neighbors on either side have a fence, um, but there's enough of a gap between the... Okay, so actually, let me let me go back. So both my neighbors have a fence on either side. Then my neighbor that lives behind us also has a fence. But there's a gap in between of all these houses um, where the, these kids can walk behind, like just walk behind the fences. And um, on one of my neighbor's sides, it's just completed wooded area um, before you go back into the house, more houses and stuff like that. And there's like a little creek. Um... So they what we they've been doing is walking by that neighbor's house behind my house then behind uh the fence on my other neighbor and I'm just like 
I, I think it's time for a fence. And I'm not going to be like, oh, those darn kids or anything like that. It's more of I'm worried about liability. Um, uh, I've, I noticed like um, on at least the Nextdoor app. I don't know if you guys have Nick, do Nextdoor with your neighbors and stuff like that. But people complain a lot. And people get real snippy real quick. And I don't want... Like, someone get hurt in my yard and then have their parents um, come to me and be all, like, demanding me pay their kids' um, medical bills or something like that because they dared to hurt themselves on my yard and it's my fault. I didn't. I don't want any, like, liability issues like that. So, I'm thinking about, we're thinking about getting a fence. Don't know if that's going to happen. Um, but um, we're getting a quote. Um, my husband says we're going to get someone come by and give us a quote. And it's people who've done the fences in, in the area before. So, well, we'll see what happens. Um, but, yeah, I just don't want that keep going on. Because, yeah, I, I don't want anything like that. Um, where was I going? See, I, I trailed off and I went with a completely different direction. And <laughs> I do that a lot. I'm so sorry, guys. Um. But, um, but yeah, so this, this week's kind of been a weird week in a way, um, uh, with, um, getting my, my contacts and then, um, a lot of other things. Um, so one of the things I didn't tell you guys on Monday, cause it was an ongoing thing and I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. So if you guys want to take a sip, you, you do that as well. Okay. So, um, did I mention this to you guys or no? I don't think I did. Um, so what happened was we woke up to get ready, uh, get the kids ready for school. And my husband and I have a routine. Um, he sleeps downstairs because his back, uh, for the most part, sometimes he'll sleep upstairs. But his back and our bed are, are not compatible with each other. We're still... We're still thinking about getting a, a new mattress, but now that we're talking about a fence, the mattress might have to wait. Um, it just just has to depend. So anyway, routines normally like this. We both wake up. We both have an alarm set about the same amount of time, maybe with a minute or so with each other. Um, I get up. I get the kids ready upstairs. I wake them up. Um, I'm their personal alarm clock because they're, I don't trust them to <laughs> use an alarm clock. Plus, they try and go back to sleep. So, I get up. I wake up the kids. I always start with the oldest. Um, tell her time to get up. And then I go. I work my way down. So, so I go with um, the, big, the oldest kid, which is like right next to my room. And then I go down the hallway. And I wake up the youngest. And then I wake up her brother. And, um, sometimes if I haven't folded laundry, which I haven't this week, um, but I had it last week, but usually if I don't fold laundry, I try and grab, um, their pair of pants or something like that and have them, have them have their clothes ready to go. Um, his, his, uh, his routine is more like this. So he wakes up, he hears me moving around, knows I'm awake, so I don't have to you know, call my phone and say, hey, wake up. Because that has happened. It's a, it's very rare where I have did not set my alarm because um, cause I forget. <laughs> um, but he, he, he hears me moving around and then he starts getting the kids prepped. They're like, he's making their breakfast. Um, he's fixing your cups because what we have to do is we have water bottles for them. So we have their cups. He'll clean out the ones from yet the day before if he didn't. And he'll fill them up with water. And then um, he will get their tablets and put them in their backpacks um, uh, once they're charged. Because we have, them, have to have them charged, almost fully charged. I know this story's going on forever. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'll, I'll get to the point. Anyway, uh, when he was doing that, he noticed our oldest tablet is not where it was. It's always charging. It's always in her hand. So... And he's like, okay, that's weird because, you know, she's always using that tablet, so it always needs to get charged. Um, so he finds it in her backpack. 
which is also strange. You know, normally she does not put her tablet in her backpack until she's ready to go for the day. And there's been a couple times where we had to rush to school with the tablet because she's forgotten it. Um, and he goes and tries to turn, turn it on to see what percentage um, it was. It doesn't turn on. Yeah, so he goes and goes, okay, maybe, you know, battery, you know, it's out of battery. Goes, plugs it in, doesn't work. He's doing everything he can to, um, to get this darn thing on, and it's not turning on. Um, I'm not, I'm not aware of this yet. I'm still upstairs, you know, tickling, um, tickling, um, the young, youngest. It's because sometimes she refuses to get out of bed. So I'm like, I sit on her bed and I just start going, I'm going to get you like that. And she, and then, you know, um, sometimes it say, starts in a good mood and then they go into a foul mood the moment they go downstairs. It's like, it's like they go through a curtain and it's immediately, I'm in an angry upset <laughs> and that's what was happening today they were all smiles upstairs and then like the moment they turned around and went downstairs immediately everyone was in a just a sour mood <laughs> um so i'm not aware i'm not aware of this yet i'm still i'm still waking everyone up and i hear him um uh, talking to our oldest and she's starting to have a, a meltdown. Now, granted, she's t she's ten, so. And we're, I I come down and I'm like, what's going on? And he tells her to go eat her breakfast. And while he's telling me what's going on, and you know, basically the entire spiel that I just gave you guys. And immediately I went, what? <laughs> um. Uh, I'm, I'm a little quick, I'm a little quick, you know, um, but I don't start outright going ah, to the kids all the time. Um, but it's more like, what the heck, you know? <laughs> um, so she's claiming that at the time she was claiming that she doesn't know what happened. Um, she doesn't, she doesn't know, uh, why it's doing that. She put her tablet tap it up because it was already charged or something like that basically everything she is and we're like tell us the truth you know basically we we've had talks about this before about being honest and that if she is honest then you know the punishment you know it won't be as severe as it was if she just you know but she kept being stubborn st being stubborn about it act claiming that she doesn't know what happened or anything like that so, eventually, we draw it out of her. We, we had to go and message the teacher. But because she kept doing, digging her heels in for the longest time, we're like, okay, well, if you just came out to us and said, hey, I accident, so what happened was she accidentally uh, dropped it. So, our kid, excuse me, all three of our kids drop their tablets. It makes me cringe every time I hear something f just drop to the floor. I'm like, oh god, oh no. Um, so, sorry. Um, so, what happened was, she's obsessed with being on the Weather Channel. She She is constantly on the Weather Channel, um, and, um, she's, like, giving us updates. She'll, she'll, like, go, oh, it's so, such and such degrees, it's, you know, or, like, we have a storm, especially when we have a storm in the area, she's, like, on it all the time. She's looking at the radar, telling us what's going on. <laughs> we, we kind of claim that she's going to be a, a, a a meteorologist or something like that with how how often she's on on that tablet just for that purpose <clears throat> excuse me sorry so what happened was she went to check the weather before she went to bed like she normally does um and dropped the tablet but she dropped it in a way where 
even though that thing is so stirred, has so much, like a big, nice case on it, she dropped it in such a way where it broke it. Like it, it rattled something inside. Oh, see, I, I dropped stuff too. Um, and um, instead of outright telling us, hey, I, I accidentally broke the tablet, you know, or I accidentally did something to the tablet, she decided the best course of action was to hide it instead. Um, so yeah, we told her since she did not tell us the truth and that she didn't come right up to us uh, immediately when this happened and that um, we're going to have to punish her for a week. And she was upset. And we're like, why didn't you tell us? And she thought we were going to hate her. I'm like, no, I am not going to hate you for this. Why would I hate you for breaking a tablet? <laughs> I'm like, even if you do something horribly awful, I'm not going to hate you. I'm going to love you. I'm going to be very disappointed and, and everything, but I'm not going to hate you. You know, I'm going to be very disappointed, but you know, um, but she was, she was upset. So we were firm in our decision. We were like, no, we're not, you're not going to hang out with your friend. You're not going to, um, you're not going to have any electronics. Um, when the tablet does come back, you will not be able to play on it unless it is, you know, for schoolwork purposes. No more checking the weather constantly, you know, and being on it all the time. So, um, so, so that was that. Um, we, we talked to the teacher. Uh, they had to go and give it to, um, the technology teacher to repair. So, while this is all going, we have testing statewide testing still going on i thought she was done with her testing no 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 no. she still had testing that day or the next day and she had to use one of the teacher's tablets instead because her tablet was not ready to go um a few days later we get um a a uh an, an um a thing from the her teacher saying that the tablet's been fixed and that um, we pay an insurance thing every year on our kids' tablets. And um, because they fixed it, we have to pay another $25 insurance fee basically to pay for the parts and, you know, or if they had to get a new tablet kind of thing. So I, I started discussing it with my husband. And I'm like, I looked at my, I, I looked at, at my oldest and I'm like, so you have a couple of options. Because I'm trying to give her the sense of responsibility and take better care of her, um, of her, her things, of her property. I'm like, you have a few options. You finish up your punishment till Sunday, which is what we, we figure Monday to Sunday, you know, she'll be let go next month. Well, she would have been let go today. Uh, I, I already gave it away. Sorry. She would be let go today, you know, and be able to hang out with friends. I'm like, so you have two choices. You either do this or... You pay the $25 restocking fee, and we will resume letting you go. We'll let you go. Um, we'll let you uh, start hanging out with your friends. You know, this day, you'll have your TV privileges reinstated this day. So, when we got the notice, it was Tuesday. So, it's only been, like, very, it wasn't, like, a full, you know, it wasn't uh, very long with the punishment thing. So, so she said she'll she'll pay it, and I'm like, okay. So what we did was she got back her TV privileges on Wednesday, and then on Thursday she was allowed to go back to play with her friend, and we we had more discussions about how you should be honest, and I'm like, and I, I, I told her I'm like if you just came to us, we wouldn't have made, we wouldn't have asked you to do the restocking fee, we wouldn't have you grounded or anything like that. We would have paid all this. We wouldn't have been upset. I mean, yeah, I would be like, what? What the heck? But at the same time, I'd be like, well, thank you for letting us know. We'll we'll figure out what to do. We'll talk, contact the teacher and all that stuff. So I'm hoping that it got through her head. I'm hoping. But she's 10, man. I don't think it's, it's gone through her head fully. Maybe some parts of the lesson went through. But I'm, I'm hoping that a bit more of the lesson has gone through than the... Than, uh, Oh, I need to hide this from my parents. You know what I mean? I, I don't want her hiding stuff from us. But I feel like it's very important for her to know, know a sense of responsibility. Um, my parents never really did anything like that. They just would outright punish me 
even if I didn't do a thing because my sister did a thing and I was there so I should have known better and stopped her. Even though we all know my sister at the time would listen to no one, not even my parents. So I don't know how they figured that she would listen to me, but that's another story and that would be a rant. And I don't think you guys want to listen to me complain about my sister at, that t <laughs> at this time. Um, but yeah, I'm, oh wow, I didn't realize I, t I talked about that for that long. I am so sorry, guys. All right, sorry, had to take another coffee break. Um, but yeah, um, so, <sighs> big talks on that. That was, that was, um, that was, <laughs> it's like, uh, I, there's times where it's like, uh, I question, I don't question about being a parent, but it's like, times where being a parent is kind of hard and it felt like, I don't want to punish her, I don't want to ground her. But I feel like, you know, at the same time, this is what's needed to get her to understand things. We're not very, very big on uh, spanking and stuff like that. So, um, I I grew up with, um, with my dad with the belt. And, um, yeah, I don't want that kind of stuff. I don't want to be, I don't want my kids traumatized like that. <laughs> um, we do have a lot of talks. We do talk, talk things, things through, so, um. And she, I mean, like, with some of our, with some of our discussions, it seems like we, we get things through, so. And, uh, same thing with the twins. Oh, my goodness, with the twins. They're, they're a different handful, so. Um, but anyway, yeah, so this week, well, last week, <laughs> um, last Tuesday, um, the kids had an art show to go to. Um, well, well, not we had, had to go, go to, so my youngest had her, um, one of her artworks from, um, art class put up on the wall, to, on display. And we were invited to go see, see her artwork. The other two were kind of upset once they found out that their stuff wasn't put on display. Um, last year it was my youngest and my oldest who had their artwork. My son hasn't had his, his, um, artwork up yet. And I told him, it's okay, it'll just, you know, um, you'll, you'll, You'll get there eventually. Just actually, you know, just do do what the assignment's uh, about and do do well on it, and your teacher will pick. My opinion, though, is I think he's drawing way too much about the countries and flags and stuff like that. He's obsessed, so um, he's obsessed with countries and flags and maps and and everything. And he that's all he draws is at home is that. And I think that's what's going on in school too. Is that's all he's doing. So that's probably why the teacher hasn't put his home his schoolwork up there I don't know but um I have a, I have a sneaking hunch that's what it is because a lot of his stuff that he gets um when we get back um back like his schoolwork is all about um certain countries and stuff like that or like one of the <laughs> sorry <clears throat> one of the things was my favorite state is Hawaii because um coconuts <laughs> and volcanoes and it was just like He's a fountain of uh, information. He's only a first grader. Um, both him and his uh, sister is. They're they're like they're first graders, and he has. He, it's so funny how night and day they are. All my children are. I always say this. They're night. They're um. And they're like night, afternoon, and um day. So it's just like there are complete opposites from each other. Um, there's some similarities between them, but. Their personalities all clash, <laughs> but um, his sister and, and his his twin sister and him are definitely night and day. Um, she's more on the creative end, while he's more on the um information. Got to got to be obsessed about the one thing. While she goes, floats to to place to place. <laughs> Excuse me, my my allergies are really messing me up, man, guys. But yeah, um, but yeah, we went there. We we uh, saw. Her, it was like a self portrait or something like that. Um, it was it was really cute. Um, my husband took a picture of her standing next to next to it. At the time, she didn't lose her tooth yet. She's she's been having this really wiggly tooth that you know will not come out. Even the nurse tried to pull it out for her. It was that wiggly. Like it looked like it needed to come out. Like the roots coming out and everything. I know. Uh, if you guys aren't, uh, this might gross you out. Sorry. Um, but yeah, it did not come, it has not come out until, what was it, Friday? I think Friday was when it, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> sorry. I think Friday was when it finally came out, though. 
Um, but, but that tooth was just like, it was like funny how she's just talking and that you can just see it flat. And I'm like, yeah, that, and for some reason, her teeth will not let go until it is good and ready to. My oldest, when, you know, whenever she had a loose tooth, like, I was able to just go, oh, there's a loose tooth. Take a deep breath. Doop. <laughs> like that. It was literally like that. Um, not with her, though. Um, and then my son, he does not let me get anywhere near his mouth um, if if he has an inkling that I'm about to uh, try and help him out with his tooth. So, and right now we're trying to get his um, his uh, bottom tooth um, uh, pulled out because the dentist asked him asked us to get it out because what's he what's going on is his adult adult teeth are growing in already and they're growing up behind his baby teeth so we need to make space for and have to get the baby teeth out or else there's braces in the future for us and i really don't really i'm already knowing that the oldest is going to need it for her i think it's either an overbite or an underbite so um i'm, I'm trying to cut cost here guys <laughs> um but yeah so we did the art fair uh that night um, oh, art fair, the art show, sorry. And we also got to see, look around and see everyone else's stuff. It was, it was really neat. Um, some of the stuff I was like, uh, they wanted to go upstairs to see the middle school and the high school stuff. And some of it was like, uh, maybe you shouldn't see this, you know, <laughs> cause it's just more like scary imagery. Um, uh, you know, it's, just, it's school stuff. It's just, it was more scary imagery instead. Um. Uh, and I was just, but they seem to not be too upset about it, so that's good. Whew. Um, but yeah, that, that was a busy day because, um, Tuesdays and Thursdays are my raid days, um, and well, so, like, having to get them, I got them fed, we went to the art show, came home, got them showered, then also put them to bed while the oldest is doing her own thing, and then I have to rush and get ready for raid. That was crazy um because raid starts like at nine o'clock so i mean like i have a little bit of time um bef before raid starts to to have some downtime but i needed the downtime to prep because excuse me i do raid and fights and um excuse me sorry i do raid and fights i do um i i i try and get like my flask and my potions and um all my other consumables ready to go so that way I'm not bumming people at all in the in the uh, raid like hey I'm, I'm out of this can you give me that um I, I try to be well prepared um but yeah let's see I'm still stuck on this one color I'm sorry guys <laughs> um but uh I'm trying to think I lost my train. I really did lost my train of thought, guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, one of the reasons why I'm in here is, um, and I'll, I'll I'll go back to WoW because I know people. Some some of you guys aren't big WoW WoW or gaming gaming people. So um, so I'll I'll talk a little bit more about that later. So um, this weekend. So n things didn't happen a lot. We were, it was like kind of very uneventful um, at home. I've been trying to get the kids to do their schoolwork. The the younger two had their statewide testing this week as well for both um, English and math. Um, so they were drained along with homework. Who gives homework when it's statewide testing, by the way? Especially for young kids. My oldest... <laughs> sorry. <coughs> sorry, I know. I know. I, I, I'm ranting again. Sorry. So my oldest, she has less homework than my youngest and she's in gifted and talented as well make it make sense guys um granted she also finishes her homework before she comes home so she only has like two things normally she has one math page and then um and then she does a little bit of reading. That's it. Uh, right now I have to, um, with her gifted and talented class, she has to um, do, uh, study these words, but she has an another month before that's done. Um, anyway, my youngest two, they have, which is supposed to be spread apart, spread throughout the week. They give all their homework on one day and they're supposed to do it themselves over the week. Um, 
my son, like, if he knows he knows the stuff, he'll 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 get through it quick. Um, but yeah, we got four sheets of math homework to do, and then with my um daughter, she has a tic tac toe type thing for her spelling thing, and then my son has um just two spelling word assignments so she has to do like three and he only has to do two and then that's on top of doing their daily 15 minutes of reading but the t the both of them th when this week they were both drained from um doing doing the testing because it's 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 a pretty pretty big test and then i they have to come home turn around and then start doing homework instead of resting at all <laughs> i felt bad i gave them a day off on tuesday i think but then on Wednesday, I'm like, I'm sorry, guys. I know you just had testing today, but we really do need to play catch up. And it, it was a big struggle trying to get them to focus, especially especially my daughter. She she has a hard time focusing on things. So while her brother's all done and he's like tr wanting to watch TV, I'm like, no, you can't watch TV because your sister's not done. You'll distract her. And he's getting upset. She's getting upset. It's a whole thing. It's a whole ordeal. <laughs> um, so what I try to do is like when they're eating snacks, I'll try and get them to do some of their schoolwork while they're eating snacks. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, especially if they have a messy snack, then I don't do schoolwork until after that. And then it's, you know, at that point they're already in. I'm at home. I don't want to do anything mode. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I, I just, I don't understand who... Like, I understand that, like, for high school students and stuff like that, but, um, for first graders? <laughs> um, but, yeah, we finished the school, they finished their, uh, statewide testing. Um, they did good, supposedly. All of them com talked about their, um, scores, um, and they said that it was, that was an improvement. My, uh, oldest got a certificate, um, on Friday, or Tuesday, um, not Tuesday, on, on Thursday, sorry. Um, so I, I'm assuming that they're all good. We're supposed to get the results soon. Um, but then Friday, I was planning on resting in. I, I was like, yeah, I get to sleep in because, um, I've been staying up a lot too much, um, and not going to bed after, after we drop the kids off. Um, I'm like, yes, I'm going to go sleep in. And, um, my son, he woke up a few times on thurs Thursday night I went to my husband complaining of his stomach hurting and he wasn't feeling good um, and all that stuff so on Friday morning when we woke up <clears throat> I go to him and I'm like hey how you doing and he was miserable he didn't sleep at all the poor kid so I'm like okay well, you can stay home. You know, I, I felt his forehead and I'm like, ooh, that doesn't feel good. You know, you know, you know when your kid's sick. Yeah, he's he's like a bundle of energy. And with him being that muted, you can tell he was not feeling good. Um, he was having some stomach. He's been having a lot of stomach issues. Like, um, we, we first assumed that it was acid reflux, and now we figured out that it's, um, he has a dairy issue. So this whole family has <laughs> some sort of food <laughs> thing. We all have to try and figure out what to eat. Um, I'm not trying to poke fun at it. Um, but yeah, the poor kid, his, his stomach was hurting. He had a fever. He had like, it was a, um, I want to say it was, if I remember correctly, it was like a hundred points. Six, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. I just know it was a hundred, hundred something. Um, and I'm like, yeah, you're staying home, kiddo. Um, and I, I gave him some time. I had him lay down on the couch. He did not want to go back upstairs. I can't blame him. He wasn't comfortable up there. So, um, what happened was my husband brought his, um, pillows and, um, he brought his Locky, which is his stuffed uh, dog, um, downstairs so he can cuddle and be on the on the wedge, which is our the middle part of our couch, and uh, got him all nice and comfortable there. So I gave him his Tylenol, and um, this is this is kind of funny. You can tell when medicine kicks kicks in when a kid's not feeling good, and. This is at the point where um, his sisters are already getting ready to go. They're about to leave. He becomes this ball of energy again. <clears throat> it's like 
it's like he's all over the place. And I'm like, whoa, you're feeling a lot better. And he goes, mm hmm, but my tummy still hurts. We only gave him a banana at the time. So I'm like, okay, well, let's, let's still take it easy. And that's what we did all Friday was we would, we took it easy. Um, oh, which brings me to something. So that Friday, I'm, uh, I'm browsing the YouTubes. <laughs> well, I'm browsing YouTube. Okay. But, um, it's, it's, sorry, inside joke between my, me, my husband and I were going YouTubes. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm browsing YouTube. Um, and I have my son sitting next to me cause he was feeling better again. Um, and I, I gave him his little diamond painting kit. I'm like, Hey, you want to diamond paint with me? He goes, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, yay, mommy and son time. And he's like, yes, it was, it was adorable. I'm, I'm browsing YouTube and I go, Hey, I know that. I know that person. And it's my mother-in-law. So I, if you guys know, I, I, I told you about how, how, um, I, I've been talking to my mother-in-law and we bonded over diamond painting and everything. And, um, so she started a YouTube channel. She's been, she, she's been telling me about, um, that she wanted to start a YouTube channel. And I, I tried to help her, um, with some tips and tricks that she wanted to, to know, but I couldn't help her cause I don't do things by phone. I don't do editing on my phone or anything. Everything's on PC. So I felt really bad that I wasn't able to help her the way she wanted, uh, wanted to get things done. Cause I'm like, I have no clue to put sound effects or anything. Cause I use Da Vinci, um, on my computer and that's pretty much it. I'm, I, everything I look, everything I know is just me looking it up stuff, you know, YouTube tutorials, all that fun stuff. Anyway, I see my mother-in-law with her YouTube channel. Like it was like, it popped up in my recommend day, rec recommended uh, list of people to watch. And the only reason I know is because of her, her um, YouTube name. And she told us what, what her YouTube name was going to be and everything. And I'm like, Hey dude, you want to watch Nana? And he goes, huh? I'm like, watch this. And I immediately just tap on the thing. And he's like, it was like funny um but anyway if you guys want to go check her out and i'm going to leave the link down below it's called diamond painting with sweet tea and i'll, I'll put the link in my description so that way he's, if you guys want to check her out um but yeah she i was like so excited sorry i'm i am a little excited but it was so exciting exciting to see her do this uh and everything so i was just like yeah dude and he he got to watch her for a little bit and then you can tell when the medicine started to wore off because he started complaining about not feeling good again. He was like going, I hurt, I hurt. And I'm like, oh, it's okay. You know, you don't have to do any more diamond painting. You can just listen to Nana. It's fine. And that's what he did. And then he goes, I'm really sleepy. I'm like, all right, let's get you set up. So what we did was we put him back on the, on the couch and he fell asleep, which is a good thing because that poor kid needed the sleep. But, oh my goodness, I felt so bad for him. Um, but, yeah, so that that's that's how we spent our whole afternoon was just, you know, spending some time. I let him watch his um, his his YouTube um, videos. He likes to watch Kids Learning Tube, which has things about space, states, countries, everything. You name it. He is obsessed with that channel. So I let him watch that. Um... <clears throat> excuse me and he got he basically he enjoyed the fact that he had full control of um the tv norm and where i normally sit i sit here like i said i sit over here with um and uh i uh watch stuff off my tablet which is over here my tablet is literally like right here so um so I have it all set up. I have everything plugged up against the wall so that way I don't have to worry about anything dying. Um, but yeah, so when he started doing that, I just, I put on the earbuds. I have my little earbuds over here and I just listen to whoever I wanted to watch <laughs> at the time. I don't remember who I was watching. Um, I can't watch some of the stuff that I do watch. Uh, like, um, I watch a couple of um, Twitch people uh because they do games and stuff like that but they curse and you know shout a lot and i'm like uh yeah i don't really want my kids repeating it they already are mima birds they they mimic everything so i don't really want to want them to start mimicking that stuff uh no 
But um But yeah, he was he he started showing that he was feeling better on Saturday, but he was still complaining about his stomach hurting and I'm trying to remember. Um yeah. So he was he was feeling feeling better and um I, I kinda slept in late that night that day. I was like I was like I'm just taking taking a lazy day and then I immediately worked on Angie and Oliver. <laughs> um but Saturday night worried me. I'm like I'm getting things ready. Everyone's asleep. Everyone's asleep except my husband and I. And it's like twelve o'clock. I'm staying up late because <laughs> I'm not the smartest person. Sorry, guys. I stay up, like, way too much. I stayed, I think I, that night I stayed up till, like, two or three. Um, I hear my son yelling. And immediately, my my brain went into full mom panic mode. Because um, I heard him go, ow, ow, like that. I'm like, oh, God, what is it? Is it appendicitis? His stomach's been hurting. I was, I was... I was panicking and at the same time I was just like let's go upstairs and make sure he's okay you know I'm, I zoomed up the stairs which is strike number one here's why my body is in so much pain so I zoomed up the stairs I don't zoom up the stairs guys I am I'm a, I'm very overweight I'm a fat person I don't go upstairs like that I but that at that point I went zoom. <laughs> I made so much noise going up there uh, and rushed into his room and I'm like what is it? Are you okay? And he's like, it hurts, it hurts. I'm like, what hurts? I'm thinking he's going to say his stomach hurts, that he's in pain. I'm like, I'm already ready about to call, you know, 911 or something. Cause it, you know, at that point I'm like, we're going to get you to, you know, his nose hurts guys. <laughs> okay. Um, which immediately when he's like, I can't breathe through my nose anymore. Like when he said that, all that adrenaline just started to whoosh out. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, all right. And I'm like, I'm painting because <laughs> I'm like doing, because uh, I was like trying to take deep breaths after running up the stairs. I'm like, okay, let me go get you a tissue, you know? And I'm thinking, really, really? <laughs> um, but yeah, his, um, he has just as bad allergies as I do, guys. I, I felt bad, but at the same time, it's like, this, this, this is what you were <laughs> yelling about? It's 12 o'clock at midnight. <laughs> but um, I got him to blow his nose. He did not like me touching his nose. Um, he was like, no, uh-uh, it hurts. And I'm like, yeah, but you've got to clear your nose out, dude. It's runny. It's, you know, let's try and blow some of that, that um, stuff out. Um. And I propped his pillows up. I put another pillow down. I'm like, let's get you to try and, you know, sleep upright. Maybe that'll help. And I'm like, I'll check up on you again if, you know, just to make sure things are right. And then I go downstairs and I stare at my time in painting. And I go, I don't think I can go to sleep yet. <laughs> so I stayed up late. But, um, but yeah. All right. I'm going to take another sip of coffee. <laughs> um. Oh my goodness, but um, let's see, what's the next one? Let's go with Q. We're going to go with all these pretty blues and before I go back into the green. Um, but after that, on Sunday, he was completely fine. He was feeling so much better. Um, I was working on this. I had Mythic Plus with my wild stuff. I'll, like I said, I'll go through, through my wild stuff at the end so people who don't want to listen don't have to um and it's not going to be very long if you guys don't mind it's not I'm not going to go too much into it so it's it's a short little um thing but um but let's see um yeah Sunday we we were perfectly fine um my husband decided he was going to reward the kids to take them out to the park while um so I could have some rest and relaxation um and basically as a good job on doing your state testing and stuff like that. Um, we were talking about getting a lawn mowed. And I was watching my neighbors. They were mowing their lawns too. And he was leaving. It was already almost 3 o'clock when he left. And I went, hey, do you want me to mow the lawn too? <laughs> I, I can't blame him for the look he gave me. Like, who, who, who replaced you? 
what what's wrong with you are you sick <laughs> do I need to call help <laughs> um I could I could tell all that from one look <laughs> but um but he goes if you really want to and I'm like yeah sure you know we have um a battery powered uh, mo uh, lawn mower like shouldn't be too problem at all I got this I'll just do the flat areas. You you'll take care of the hills when you get back. <laughs> you know. <laughs> um. So this 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 is the biggest reason. Like I already hurt myself as it was rushing up those stairs the night before, and I decided, hey, you know a good way to to you know really make your body angry at you? Let's put it through exercise. It hasn't done in a while because <laughs> my husband does the um mowing. I don't. Uh, but he has a bad back, and I don't really want him to hurt himself while he mows. And there's been a few times where he'll just kink his, his back just in the right way. So, it doesn't help that I hurt myself too. But, um, but anyway, um, he leaves. I, I get the mower. I, I start going. And I'm like, this ain't so bad. I'm on the flat area. I'm like, this ain't so bad. This is okay. I can do this. And then... I go into the backyard because I'm only doing the side. I'm only doing one side. Um, and I get to the trees and stuff like that. The place where I'm worried about those kids tripping over. And I'm mowing back there. And it's kind of hard to get in there because of all the roots and, um, and uh, uh, the sticks and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, we're still doing good. We're still go doing good. Until I get to my neighbor's house on, this, on my... Um, on my left hand side um they we have a little hill there and i'm like okay let's just do a little bit of that i'll be fine i'll be okay and i start hurting myself <laughs> i start feeling the twinge um because i have sciatica so i started feeling the twinge in my hip and i'm like it's okay i can do this i got this you know i'm just thinking just push through it you don't have to do the front my husband can do the front and then most of the side we'll just do the side right here on the backyard um, and then I run over an anthill. Now, if you guys know, we have ants everywhere. We have ant invasions. Oh my goodness. I freak out. I did the flail because they were all over my pants, all over my shoes. I was like, get off me. <laughs> I'm sure people, if they were watching me, they'd be like, what is this woman on? <laughs> I was like, ah! <laughs> you know, just fling, like swiping at my pants constantly because they were all over me. Um, I, and I still did not I still did not think I was done. I did decide not to finish this one square area because I saw all the ant hills there. I'm like, yeah, my husband can do that. I'm done with the ant hills. <laughs> so I, what I've literally left was um, all of the left hand side from uh, one part of the um, one part of the their fence and up to where our house meets. So basically, right where our house internet connects. That whole siding needs to be mowed. Um, and then like a little square that's like right next to the, um, um, our little patio kind of thing because it's mostly dirt, but there is stuff. So what, he, I think he has to get the weed eater for that. Um, and then I go back to the front. I'm taking a small break. I'm like huffing, I'm puffing. I'm like, <sighs> and I look, I'm like, oh, the front yard doesn't look that bad. I can do that. Guys, I shouldn't have done that. I really shouldn't have done it. I think that's that's where I really messed up. This is wh where I've, I've really pushed myself to the limit. Because I was already in, in uh, pain. Um, so I decide, I want, it is a small yard, but there is a bit of a hill on the side, like I said. <clears throat> and I started pushing, like, the lawnmower. And at the time, it was just my hips hurting. My hips and my lower back. Um, I finished. I finished most of the front yard. So I told him he only has to do about the side sections and then, um, and then a bit of a, a patch in the back. So you know he doesn't have to do much. And then of course get around the um, mailbox. I really shouldn't have done that. I went upstairs. I threw all my clothes into the washing machine, and I took a shower. And then I laid down on the bed. In agony, I could not move. I was just like, oh my god, why did I do that? Oh my god. <laughs> like that. 
I got rewarded for Mexican food, though. <laughs> I don't know if that's a great reward, but I got rewarded with Mexican food. My husband, um, he bought, he, he, he bought dinner for everyone, so, um, but the poor guy, he started keto, um, he, he's, um, trying to, he's trying to lose some weight, and I, as much as I want to lose weight, I love carbs too much. I, I figure what I'm going to do is just try and cut down and not eat as much junk food and, you know, just be slow. He, he's, he, he's, he's like, I want to do keto. I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I'm like, okay, we're already, um, we're already, we're helping him out. I want to, I want to make him some keto friendly meals. So that way, you know, he doesn't feel like he has to make his own food and stuff like that. And so, um, but he ordered a salad, um, in the restaurant, he, he, uh, he, they were trying to be nice. This, this isn't, uh, this restaurant that we go to, they're really nice all the time. And they sometimes give us little extras and stuff like that. Um, they gave him an actual taco salad instead with the re with refried beans. And he couldn't have that. He, cause he's just starting. So, um, so he tried to eat around it and he was just feeling very sad about the fact that he didn't need to participate with us. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Sorry, excuse me. Um, let's see. Oh, I have hit the hour mark. I am so sorry, guys. I have been talking for an hour. Um, all right, well then, I will, I will start slowly cutting it off. Um, so, if you guys stuck out this long and you really want to listen to me about my well, because I, I do love playing well, um, so, I have no tear again, guys, this whole week. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, lie. Slight lie. Um, so, we have a great vault that we get every Tuesday. And I open up the chest. I get a couple of options. Um, no tear in there at all. But, I think I got... Goodness gracious. I think I got boots or something like that. So, I got a new pair of boots. I don't remember. And I was able to get my double legendaries um, that day, too. Um... Then we do our our uh, raid on Tuesday, and I finally get a piece of tear. Finally, right at the end of the day. But here's the thing. I can't wear it because it's DPS loss until I get a two-piece for that bonus. So I'm just like, okay. And I'm just looking at my DPS meter. You know, I know, I know, you're not a good thing, but I'm looking at it because there's another rogue Um and he has his four piece. I think he got his five piece now. He's he he does a lot more work than I do, um, t as well. Like he does a lot more mythics than I do. But that's okay, cause I have kids. He doesn't. <laughs> it's kind of the thing. Um. Uh, but he his his DPS is shooting sky high, and I'm just like I'm literally like r barely above the tanks with because everyone else has tear gear and I'm like I think it's me and one other person who has zero tear while people are already having their four piece and I'm just like can anybody give me their tear please if you get any tear can I have some <laughs> um but uh, yeah um I, I seem to be collecting trinkets though it's like everything it's been trinkets um so I've gotten like four different trinkets so far and they're always better than the than the one I've have, and it's just it's frustrating because I'm like, okay, I can give someone this trinket. Nope, this one's better than the one I'm wearing, you know, and it's just like it's kind of like stead, little stead. It's not like all in one one a uh, day. It's more like, oh, last week I got you know this from a uh, mythic mythic thing, and now I got this from a vault, you know, like that way. Um. But I did win a cloak right at the end of uh, Thursday night. I was able to win something, so I got one piece of loot. Yay! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> um, then we got to do some Mythic Plus yesterday afternoon. Um, before I started the whole mowing incident, um, I I did some Mythic Plus with my my uh, some of my friends, and we did only did did two so. Taza Fesh and Plaguefall, which is the bane of my existence, but it has the best in slot trinket. I know, I'm complaining about getting trinkets, but this is the trinket I want. If I ca and it never drops until like right at the very end of the season for me, and then it's like, of course, if, once everyone has a really good trinket, I'll get the really good ones. But anyway, um, 
I wanted to get this trinket again because I just replaced it with the, um, I had had the old trinket that I just replaced. I wanted to get the better item level. And nothing dropped. I was so sad. <laughs> it's me and my, my hunter friend. He He's a... Uh, He's trying to get the trinket as well. We both are like always wanting to get that darn trinket, but we hate doing Plague Fall with a passion because of that last boss. I hate doing it. Ugh. Um, it's it's so it's such a pain to to do um, on certain um, affixes that we have to deal with. Um, but I'm doing another round of mythics tonight around nine thirty. Um, so uh, we're not doing they're not doing like a, a third ray night anymore. And it seems like that's the best night for my, my group to start doing mythics again. So it's going to be interesting interesting trying to get this edit and put get ready to put up tomorrow. Along with trying to also do in, um, some mythics. So I don't know if I'm going to have to just do this earlier in the day today or what. Because um, normally I, have, I do all the editing at night instead um, when the kids are are in bed so that way I can focus. Um, which means I might have to stop doing this where I have really good daylight um, and also a nice night pa light pad. I still use a light pad for some things um, even if I have nice light because um, I'm blind. <laughs> no, um, in all seriousness. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go. I've rambled way too long for you guys. I'm so sorry. I really didn't think I was going to be um, going on this long. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!